Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I wanted to pop in real quick and talk with you guys. Happy hump day. It is raining out here. It's so nasty. I literally had to use an umbrella to get in my car because I just crimped my hair and I didn't want to get it messed up. Because yesterday I wore a hat and the ladies at my job, they don't like when I wear a hat. They be like, you be hot in your face when you wear a hat and you too pretty to wear a hat. So I told them for 2024, I wasn't gonna wear the hat to work. So yesterday I went in and I had my hat on because I didn't feel like um, fixing my hair or whatever. I had a bobbin, so I just wore a hat to work. So yeah, so I, I gotta stick to my guns and not wear a hat to work. But anyway, um, I'm about to stop at Starbucks to grab something to eat. I'm starving. I haven't eaten breakfast. All I had was a cup of coffee and some water with my um, with my vitamins and my pills or whatever, my blood pressure pills. So guys, I just wanted to pop in and chat with you guys. So this is a mental health check-in, guys. So um. I would say every few months or whatever, I, I notice that my body is like, my mental and everything else is like going through something. So I remember years ago, this was like years ago, um, I was partying with my friends at this bar. And I remember my mom used to always say, never leave your drink because you can get slipped in Mickey. She told me that I guess she got slipped to Mickey years ago, or whatever. But she was like, never leave your drink, you know, cause you know, you can get slipped to Mickey. So I was like, okay. So I always kept that in my mind. So I'm partying with my friends and one of my friends left her drink at the bar. Now mind you, this, I'm partying, this was my broke days. I'm talking about broke, sharing drinks, only got 10, 15, 20 dollars to go out and party, stuff like that. So you know how you know when you're in your early 20s and you want to party and you just like whatever i wouldn't dare do it now but you know that was that was my days or whatever so i'm partying with my friends and um i don't know if i didn't have no money or what i don't know i know i had a drink but i drunk mine and my friend started arguing with her boyfriend so she left her drink at the bar and she um we all went outside and she's arguing with her boyfriend or whatever so about 20 minutes later we go we go inside the bar and she picks her drink up and she drinking it and we all dancing we partying you know so i all, always remember my mom said do not leave your drink at the bar don't don't trust nobody so she grabbed her drink so i'm like oh my god so she passing the drink around and I t instead of just fake like I sipped it, I took a tiny, tiny sip. And ever since I took that tiny, tiny sip, my anxiety went to the roof. I went home, I couldn't sleep. I was like panicking, thinking I was going to die. Like I was just tripping. So um, my kid's father, my oldest two kid's father, I was with him at the time. He um, was calling his aunt and stuff because I was like tripping out, calling his aunt. And um, she was a nurse, so he was talking to her. And she was just like talking to him, telling him what it could be and stuff like that. And you know, so the next day my cousin came and she took me to the hospital and comes to find out I had a panic attack. So it seemed like once in the blue, it, it was after that, it was happening like a little bit here and there or whatever then like every couple of years it would happen and now it's like it's happening every couple months now or every few like every like six to eight no like every couple months i'll say it happened or whatever and it lasts for like a week or whatever and it's like really getting on my nerves like it's so annoying because it's like when you're so used to just feeling normal and then for you to feel like you're shaking, you know, I keep having all these crazy thoughts of what if it's this, what if it's that? Oh my God. Like then now my head feel like um like as a rubber band on my head, like squeezing my brain, like real lightly or whatever, but it's not normal, so it's like annoying. So 
I keep thinking like, oh, maybe I need to mind you. I've been cut down from drinking so much. Like I used to play card for shots and stuff like that. But I've been cut back on drinking a lot. Like I really went four weeks without drinking. Then when I started drinking, I had like a couple glasses of um, champagne. And then days and days after that, like a week after that, I had like a couple glasses of wine. So I really cut back on drinking drastically. Like, literally plus the hours I work like you know don't pay perfect shots no more none of that so um I keep thinking like oh my god first I thought it was when it happened like months ago when I talked about it with y'all I thought it was the hookah I'm like oh my god I gotta leave the hookah alone it's the hookah da, da, da. left the hookah alone now it's like now I'm like oh my god I think it's the drinking you know, and it's like, I cut back on drinking a whole lot. So if, if it would have affected me from drinking, it would have been affecting me. But I keep thinking like it's drinking. So I went and I Googled, um, I Googled anxiety symptoms and I have all the symptoms. It's crazy because I didn't know that anxiety bring like the little shake or whatever. Like I'm not actually shaking, but I feel like I'm vibrating, like. It's crazy, y'all. Like, it's so crazy. The people that have anxiety know what I'm talking about. But I keep thinking, like, it's so so many other things. Like, and it's, like, messing with my mental or, or whatever. Because I keep thinking it's this, is that, or whatever. But, yeah, guys. Like, it's crazy. So, if you battle from anxiety, comment below. Let me know how you handle it. What pills you take. Um, how often do you take them? Do you recommend pills? Like, comment below, y'all. I just wanted to come in and be be transparent with y'all or whatever this is what i'm going through and it's been going on for a, currently a week now and it's like i made an appointment a doctor's appointment to go or whatever so i'll go on um in a few days next week I, I actually go next week so i'm gonna go talk to my doctor because i really don't want to take no pills but i feel like right now i'm coping with it and i you know i'm coping with it or whatever but i don't want to feel like this forever like i noticed that i'm getting moody and i'm thinking back to when i was younger of how you know when i was a kid in class and i was always scared to stand up in front of the class and talk my anxiety would go up and i didn't even know that i had anxiety then like it's crazy like it really goes back to my childhood but anyway guys um let me run to starbucks real quick and i'll see you guys would you like your receipt yes all right guys so we done with starbucks i want to tell y'all what i got All right, so I got me a medium iced coffee with almond milk, white mocha, and caramel drizzle. No classic. And then I got me a, I already did it. Hold on, let me, let me turn. I got me a iced lemon loaf. Oh my God. Bomb, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. All this sugar. So good, though. Chef's kiss. I didn't want to get anything with salt. So. I checked my pressure. It was like 126 over like 89, I think it was. So I ain't trying to eat nothing with no salt. So first taste of this, um, Ice coffee. It's good. It's good. So, um, like I said, ever since I've been going through this little, at first, when it first started, I was still going to the gym. But now it seems like I can't sleep at night. So I'll be up all night until I fall asleep. Then I fall asleep. I wake up like panicking. 
over nothing, you know? So today I overslept. None of my kids went to school. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. I really need to sleep at night because I get off at 11 at night. I can't be staying up because I got to get my kids up and out the door. They all can dress their self, but they want to be reminded to wake up, you know? So, I don't know. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy. And I forgot to set my alarm as well. But, it is crazy. Like, it's really crazy. So, yeah, guys, that's what I'm dealing with now. Plus, I'm trying to, I work five days a week, my, um, work five days a week and then I'm vlogging every single day because I'm trying to push three videos to grow my channel so I can you know come out of work I can't come out of work until the channel take off you know in some sort of way this channel right now definitely can't maintain my bills at all like nowhere near you know so I have to keep on working so yeah, I'm trying to, like, do a lot, you know, but I'm not trying to stress myself out. Like, I'm not really stressing about vlogging because it's really fun. Vlogging is fun, so I'm not stressing about vlogging and working and stuff like that. But the other day, I did have an encounter with a patient at my job, and it really upset me. Like, you know, like, I am kind of, like, I love what I do, but I also feel like, I feel like us being workers should be appreciated because, yes, I get it. We getting paid for it, but you got to have compassion to even do something like this. Like, this is not for everyone. Working and helping people, lifting and dealing with different personalities, this is not for everyone. It's very stressful at times. It can be very stress stressful at times. And it can definitely, you know, be overwhelming. And when when you hear a patient say, well, I pay to stay here. I pay to live here. But that don't mean you had to treat me like a piece of crap because you're mad that your child, you know, put you in here. It's like they get mad at us because they're in a nursing home. They're probably depressed. You know, so we're getting all the all the backlash while their family just living their lives or whatever. And yes, I did, cho I chose this job to help people because I do care and it do like, you know, make me feel good to help people. But am I gonna be verbally abused? No, I'm not. Like, it's not worth it. Like, it's not worth it. My mental health is very more important than a paycheck especially when you trying to help and it's like your yeah, help is not good enough for some people now some people in there I'm I might want to say some people so many people in a nursing home loves me they thank me you know I talk to them and everything but I don't know like what's going on with this person but she just like been real snappy lately and all she keeps saying is, I wouldn't be here if my daughter didn't throw me in here and take all my money. And like, you know, it's like she's going through the motion, but it's like, it's my patience. So it's like, she's bringing it on to me. And it's like, she snatched, like I'm trying to help her put the brief on. She snatched the brief out of my hand, you know? Like, so it's like, it did something to me as well. Like, oh my God, like this is crazy. And at another nursing home, when I was working at for agency, another encounter had happened. You know, it's like, it's just like, it's, it's more, I, I deal with more good than I deal with bad. That's what keeps me going. But I don't know, like, and I know the internet is way worse because, you know, you're being judged and stuff like that. And I know it's way worse than what I'm going through. I know that. But at least I don't have to read the comments if I don't want to. Or, you know, like, I don't know. It's a lot that, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very thankful and I love helping people. But, I don't know. Like, it's just, whew. It's just so much. But, all right, let me let y'all go. I don't talk y'all heads off. So, let me get to work. It's currently 2.30. 
I got 30 minutes to get there. I'm going to make it on time. See y'all.